Hello guys, this is TVC Production here, back doing a new video today for you guys. And kind of shock, I'm doing another video talking about <laughs> WWE, of course. And, um, now, that's if you see it now, I'm on Google right now. And of course, uh, kind of doing a lot of, you know, research of what's going on. And, of course, um, today is Friday, of course, if you probably already watching this video by now. That's on YouTube, so. And, um, yeah, this, this stuff kind of, this came out yesterday, on Thursday, of course. And so, I'm trying to around yesterday, when I got up yesterday morning, and, um, and I looked on, you know, you know Google's, you know, like, me giving news and stuff, and, I saw something talking about Sasha Banks, so I was like, you know, I thought they kind of stopped talking about it, you know, and then, you know, and all these other people on YouTube just make a whole bunch of, the WWE release Sasha Banks, uh, Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy this, and Jeff Hardy that, you know, I mean, just, and, um, so that's what I'll be talking about in this video today. So, hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and, yeah, so, let's get started. So, that's what I'll be doing. First, I'll be talking about Sasha Banks, and I'll talk about the whole, this scandal with Mr. McMahon, and of course, so, you know, WWE had a lot of history. A lot of dark history. It's, it's no secret. It's, it's there. So yeah. So now let's get started, and we're going to be talking about Sasha Banks. All right. So here we are. So of course, um, like. I want to use this picture because it kind of makes sense. Kind of what I kind of expect what she could have been. So, um, the whole thing uh, behind this is yesterday, June 16th. It's kind of a weird date to tell someone this news, kind of. It's kind of like, okay, the whole thing happened last month on May 16th. And today is June 16th, and now there's more news about Sasha Banks. So, it's, yeah, it kind of makes sense to me uh, when I uh, see this. So, like, um, so as yeah, you guys already should know the whole story with Sasha Banks and stuff, but as what I'm going to be talking about is these people that make these videos. Just making up conspiracy theories and doing all that stuff. I, mean, I know you can't see how I look. Look, I just woke up, so I know I'm doing this feel like in the morning time. But you guys probably see it's probably in the afternoon, late in the evening. So, so um, with uh, as me seeing her kind to think of this, of course, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a good thing she can leave WWE, you know, like, she can go do other stuff, like, she can go make movies or TV shows or anything like that, she can do it, if, um, if she can, and, you know, like, I kind of like that with the other wrestlers, what they did, like, you know, John Cena, Batista, and the Rock, of course, and it's kind of nice to go do movies, TV shows, do all that kind of stuff, and, you know, I like that, that's, that's kind of a good thing, that if she can go do other stuff, and it, all, it don't always have to be WWE, I mean, yeah, it don't always, even though she says wrestling is her passion and all that stuff, but it doesn't always have to be wrestling, she can go do other stuff. So, um, with that, like, 
she the whole point behind it is we kind of see in this picture as I so believe till this day and still think to this day they didn't want her to be champion because they know that if she had became champion it would boost the ratings it would improve over something and the same thing with Naomi they didn't want none of the champion and that's the whole truth behind it and that's why I still believe till this day they didn't want her to be champion they didn't want her to beat Charlotte Flair this kind of kind of makes sense to me because if both of them was on Smackdown why why didn't you let her fight Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania there you go and um Same thing with last year at SummerSlam. Uh, they didn't want Sasha Banks to beat Bianca Belair because if she beat Bianca Belair, it would improve their ratings. And you kind of see like when John Cena came back last year, it, it, it increased the ratings and, and got more audience because he's an older wrestler. Just like Goldberg, just like Brock Lesnar, just like Edge, Rey Mysterio, and now they basically are just throwing all their stars away, and in fact, that's what kept their sh show alive, but that's what they did to her. They, they know that if she became champion, she would, um, it would improve the ratings, it would increase it. And everything. And that's why I still believe till this day. And that's why I'm kind of picture it kind of tells you, like it tells you the there's the truth right here. The picture. They didn't want her to be champion. There you go. So um yeah like as another theory that someone be talking that they are talking about is that could she be a unified champion? And as I'm sitting here thinking that, like, it kind of does make sense. Yeah, she could have been a tag team champion and a, yeah, universal champion instead of having the, ugh, oh God. I had a dream about this motherfucker last night. I mean, I had a dream um, of Roman Reigns, and I think I was uh, I was at the WWE uh, show, I think, or something like that. I would never want to go to a show with his ass on it, so <laughs> that's true. And um, they wanted me to be a wrestler. And, you know, like me, like I, I, I don't think I would have made it to be a wrestler at all because, you know, because, you know, as to me, I don't do sports and stuff like that. So, and, um, they wanted me to wrestle him. And, and then after that, like, the, the fight kind of got messed up and I didn't finish the fight. Of course, try to say, like, I got disqualified and all that stuff. You know, you know this, this stupid, dumb shit that the Usos do in every fight that he's in, they go up, they go out there and mess it up. And that's what they do. That's the only reason why he's still champion to this day. Because they go out there and mess up the fights. And don't want none of them to fight him. And that's the whole point behind the shit. It's, it's true. So, um, yeah, like, that was a crazy-ass dream, though, but it's, you know, it kind of reminds me of this, like, they didn't want her to be champion, and till this day, they don't, because it would boost their ratings, and it would improve them. You know that Roman Reigns is not improving WWE. They know that it's not increasing the ratings. 
the only thing these idiots would do is support him and buy the merchandise and this the WWE store and all that dumb shit and and just acknowledge him and that's all they're gonna be doing and knowing the fact that's not improving the company because the bloodline is just disgracing the company and seeing someone on YouTube saying that was the great story ever and I'm like really I mean I can watch a good fight a long time ago like say with Randy Orton and John Cena or Edge and John Cena. Like, I can watch those fights, those times, and know the story was great during that time. And you can sit here and say, this was great. And then I'm like, this shit is so stupid. It's, I'm sorry I had to say that, but <laughs> I was about to cuss over, over 1 billion. Um, this crap is stupid. I mean, how you gonna sit here and support that mess and saying he had great fights and all the fights were botched? See what I'm talking about, guys? And you can see it. Same thing, they. Bianca Belair. They want us to look at her. S-E-T. All that. And I'm like, no. They don't want, as you can see, they didn't want Sasha to be champion. And that's true. And Naomi the same way. They don't want Naomi to be champion. And that's how I believe till this day that they do not want her to be champion. Period. Because they do increase the ratings and everything. And that's what the dumb bloodline is basically disgracing and downgrading, get it, downgrading the ratings and it's not even enjoyable to watch. Like, when I saw that it's Randy Orton saying he's he's not going to be, be able to compete in wrestling now, and then I'll look what they did with Cody Rose. See, to be honest, like I said, they got rid of the top stars, get it? top stars and there's no person to fight this motherfucker at all. He just hold two by two two belts and acknowledge me. I am the tribal chief. I mean like how do y'all support this? And so that's how I um, believe, like I said, the whole company is just falling apart. It's been falling apart a long time, ever since 2011. That's when it started to fall apart. And ever since then, it's never been the same. Never been. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little section talking about Sasha Banks, though. Um, you know, it kind of does, it kind of does hurt me to see they do something like this to her and all that. kind of does hurt me. You know, because she was the only favorite wrestler of today that I like. Besides um, the wrestlers back then. You know, like, the ones back then I love is Trish and China. And um, uh, none of my top two favorites. Divas. You know, of course, you can't forget Lita. You can't forget um, Ivory, Jacqueline, Tori Wilson, and Stacy Keebler. Uh, wrestler. Michelle McCool, Kelly Kelly, Mickey James. And, um, the only like wrestler that 
a lot of people don't really talk about is Ashley Masara. She's the only wrestler that nobody don't talk about because she actually has a lot of history that come that kind of connects to the dark history of WWE because they didn't really care what she done. They didn't care if she got injured. They didn't care if she got hurt because they did not give a damn. So that's kind of what I believe. What what we're going to talk about in a minute. So. So, um, yeah, that's, that's mostly, basically, uh, talk, talking about Sasha Banks, talking about, yeah, the Roman Reigns, and, um, if she was champion, it would improve the ratings, that's all I had to say, and it's sad what they done to her anyway, it gets kind of weird that waves so Stephanie McMahon left WWE, and they decided to Get rid of Sasha Banks. Get rid of Naomi. But you got Bianca Belair as champion, and you got Ronda Rousey as champion. And Sasha could defeat Charlotte, and became champion, and been the victor. But <laughs> they don't want to. So, um, yeah, guys, that's, that's most of all I talk about with, uh, Sasha Banks, of course, and now you guys kind of know a little what happened, you know, like, that's why I kind of believe with this picture here, I believe that she would have been champion, that's all I have to say. So, um, yeah, so, now let's get back to, uh, talking about what's going on with Vince McMahon. Alright, so, as you know, recently, it's yesterday, because it's Friday, of course, and, you know, I'm not going to watch SmackDown, no way, so who cares? I'm going to watch it at all. So, um, so yesterday, as Vince McMahon basically was, had a scandal, a sex, uh, it's a sex scandal of a woman that works at the company. Of course, as you know, this stuff been going on for years. It has it's it's still been going on for years, and it's nothing new. It's not really nothing new. I don't know why people laugh. Oh my God, it's horrible, and and this is not good for the company. And I'm thinking to myself, I've been doing like this for years. Gosh, look what he done during the WWF time. I had Trish Stratus, Sable, Tori Wilson, and damn, like, and it was, and kind of what I was talking about Ashley uh, Masaru all ago. Like, she, she was injured. They didn't care that she got injured and hurt or nothing like that. They did not give a shit. And of course, they you know that, she, see, they don't want to pay no one to get through when they get hurt. Because you know why? Because you can kind of see the history here. And that's what I'm going to, have to give you right now. Okay, 99, Owen Hart. Did they care that he got killed in a, in a stunt? No, they didn't give a damn. All they care about, man, man, the money. The Shane McMahon thing kind of tells you that. Um, that's probably the reason why Br- Bret Hart did not come back after that, even though that was that was horrible what happened that year. All right, um, Crash Holly, you know, I guess they found him dead, and he had uh, took some pills that was provided by at the company at WWE. And I think it was steroid pills and all that stuff, you know. Found him dead. Uh, Eddie Guerrero is another one, of course, you know. And you kind of see that there was nothing uh, wrong with Eddie Guerrero in his last fight, of course, with Batista. So you kind of see that was the last time you saw Eddie Guerrero. And I don't think he was champion, so I don't think he was. So, because um, I think Batista became champion. 
okay, um, Chris Benoit. And of course, like they, most of that, they try to cover up him and act like, oh, he did this to his family and all this stuff. And they did not know that he did, would have done this and all that. And like, you see, you can see it. Like, I don't believe, like, he was killed like that. I think it was more towards it. And technically, I don't, I don't believe it. Because they try to paint him like he's so he's the one that did it, he's the murderer, and all that. I think there's more to it. Because that's why, like I said, you know, you got it during the past. Some people say, it was a horrible time at WWE during that time. I'm like, okay, but Ruthless Aggression Era is still great to watch. Um, then plus, uh, then you got Tess, same, kind of same thing, found him dead, taking the same exact pills as, like I said, with Crash Holly. China. So... So it's a lot. It's a lot towards it, and you kind of can see see it right there. It's a lot towards those stories, and I still believe, till this day, that it's more to it. It's nothing. It's not. Um, oh, they did that. They committed suicide to kill themselves, and it's not. And and there's more towards their story because, okay, like China, she would have returned on WWE because of the women's revolution, of course, with Sasha, as you know, Sasha, Bailey, Paige, Charlotte, and, um, Becky Lynch, yeah, Becky Lynch, yeah, I'm trying to think, the evolution of women is kind of shocked and she would have been because she's the one that paved the way for the, the, the women wrestling of course with the with Trish and Lita and because those those were the top three divas that paved the way for the women even though as some, as some people say Jacqueline and Ivory get those two as well and um Cause that's why I still that's why I still believe. Like I said, they they were the well, yeah. I would kind of say this: China, Trish, China, Tr- Jacqueline, Lita. No, yeah, China, Jacqueline, Ivory, Lita. Yeah, Lita and Trish. Yeah, those five are the ones that paved the way for the women wrestling. Then, you know, with the other ones like Molly Holly and all those guys like, that came out after that, you know, those kind of little people that started to um, come out on, come out during that time. But they are the ones that started that 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 started the women divas. And paved the way for them. As of today. So. Me see. So. I've seen like they try to like come up their stories. Like. Uh, like they like they didn't want China to be part of that. And that's basically what they did. They did not want her to be part of it. Because. They. Uh, okay, old Triple H. And Stephanie McMahon. Of course. All that shit. And, I mean, it was just so dumb. And that's how it's like saying, okay, if I'm really, if, if that's the reason of this nonsense and it, it's old thing, old story, old news, can you just bury it? I mean, can you just, just accept it and just move on? And they don't. Like I said, that's the um, that's what I believe. Like I said, their stories and you know, there's a lot towards their stories because um, trying to say 
they are the, you know, their stories are, uh, see, it's kind of, and that's what makes it weird. Their stories are almost similar, you know, like, oh, Chris Benoit committed suicide. China committed suicide. Ashley Mazzaru committed suicide. And it just makes it, like, strange because she, all of them were part of the B and they try to cover up their, cover up the dark, the, this dark matter and all this stuff. And I mean, that it's not really no secret, it's there. You can see it yourself. And that's why I still believe to this day. Of course, <laughs> WBF, just go back to those times on during the Attitude Era. <laughs> I mean, that's all you gotta do. So, um, yeah, guys, that's mostly uh, it. I mean, I kind of talked about everything, of course. Um, so, like the uh, this whole scandal scandal thing is just. Um, I mean, it's no secret. No, it's not really a secret. I mean, it's the truth. This stuff happened. This stuff happened. And now it's coming out there, and would it make, oh, like I support WWE now, I guess support the company. No, I don't support the company. And that's what these guys making a thousand videos talking about this mess. And, you know, like, you know, all this with Jeff Hardy and all that crap with just the increase of bad, bad, uh, bad, uh, neat, bad, um, influences and bad uh telling different stories of his arrests and just trying to make it make the story be a different tale to tell get it and that's the whole point of it that's and like i said you know some wrestlers try to uh yeah you know, try to like ignore the fact he got arrested and should be punished for that like I said, yeah, Jeff Hardy had problems in his life. I know that. But I would not t- turn him down and say uh, he is a bad person and all that stuff. And just want him to be to be um be taken down. And I would never do that. So, um, seeing that mess going on with him, and they just trying to take down the man. That's all they're doing. And, like, with this right here with Vince McMahon, I mean, it's like this crap been happening for years. John Lord and I is his part of this same mess. So, like I said, he, he, uh, they were all, yeah. And that's the whole point behind it. But WWE don't want you to know about it. So guys, that's basically it for this uh, video here. I've been talking about it for a good 30 minutes, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's, as I said, it's not real lot to tell because it's... The secret been out there for years. I mean, years. Like, since WWF, guys. And that's true. I mean, I mean, sh- shit. I mean, when you saw him having Trish get on her knees and bark like a dog and all that stuff and tell, tell her to kiss my ass and all that shit, you know, like, come on, you can see it in the dark. I mean, in the damn, in in the damn company gone. I mean, like you know that funny that that was funny as fuck when Rikishi did that to him, but but other than that, he deserved that a lot. Cause they, you know, cause back then, of course, the McMahon family was causing a lot of the wrestlers to have not to win no championships, and they always want 
Triple H to be champion. You know what Stephanie would say. My man, Triple H, is the king of all kings. And don't want no one else to be champion. So that's, and that's basically how it is today with the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Acknowledge me. That's that's all this shit is. <laughs> so um, yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it for this video. As we talk a little bit about Sasha Banks, and we talk a little bit about this mess, of course. So there's not really a lot to talk about with this because it's already out there. We already know it. But seeing Jeff Hardy getting arrested and all that mess, and these idiots will make up a lot of saying, like, oh, Jeff Hardy deserve it. Jeff Hardy does, does deserve it. And all that shit. And I'm like, hell no. No. So, yeah, guys. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. What you guys think of this? I'm kind of surprised I got. I'm talking about another WWE thing. Because I just up, I uploaded Monday the um, d- discussion video. <clears throat> yeah, I just uploaded that Monday, and, and now there's more stuff to talk about with, about WWE today. So, yeah. So, um,. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, see you guys next time. And like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that. And peace.